Hey guys, this is Sid with svtperformance.com and the wait is over. We have the first supercharged 7.3 liter Godzilla V8 in a Super Duty right here on the dyno at Five Star Tuning in Florence, South Carolina. We got a Pro Charger P1SC on it. And uh, we're gonna let this thing rip here on the dyno and see what it makes with uh, Pro Chargers tune that they're gonna be sending out with these trucks and this kit. Uh, and then of course, Five Star is gonna be working on their own custom tune. Got the eight pound set up on it right now. It's sitting over there. You know what that is, 12 pound pulley. So we'll give that a shot too. Uh, we're gonna be running these on 93 octane and just seeing what it does. Uh, Five Stars will be developing several different tunes for this and uh, supposedly we'll be working on a 87 octane tow tune for the Pro Charger P1SC setup. So um, should be fairly interesting. We're gonna run this thing on the dyno a little bit, get some numbers and then get it out on the street and check out uh, what the drivability is. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. After making a few runs with the tune that Pro Charger provides with the kit, Josh and the Five Star crew set to work with their HP Tuner software to create their own custom file. Some of the changes they made included adding a few degrees of timing, which brought torque up quite a bit, and cleaning up some throttle tip-in lag. The end result was an impressive 583 horsepower and 594 pound-feet of torque with 450 pound-feet on tap at just 2200 RPMs and over 500 available from 3000 up. So just to give you guys a rundown of what you can expect out of this kit from Pro Charger. This is their basic kit with their race intake on it. So the basic basic kit would just connect to your factory air box but this is their race intake setup so you've got a nice velocity stack hooked onto a large uh, open element air filter no real box or anything around it it's just kind of hanging out there in space but it has very very nicely sized uh, piping all the way through with really nice uh, silicone hoses nice t-bolt style uh, clamps going into your black powder coated P1SC supercharger. Uh, of course, you can get this in raw if you want, but they always have the option for black. And coming out and going down underneath the coolant bottle through here, and we have our intercooler in the grill here, behind the grill, I guess you would say, because that's where it is. But it's not a huge intercooler setup on this, I'm sure Later on down the road, Pro Charger will probably offer an upgrade, uh, like a level two kit or something like that, with a larger intercooler because there's definitely space, as you can see below it here. There's tons of room on these Super Duty trucks to run huge intercoolers. But for uh, a low boost application, this one's probably just fine, uh, the way it's sized and everything. You can see it tucked back in there. And of course, it comes out straight into your throttle body all very nicely laid out very well put together kit looks really good fitment is nice uh, because you've got all this room under the hood that could go with large diameter tubing with nice uh, nicely radius bends nothing super tight uh, or restrictive so i would say uh, really good setup again it's just taking advantage of just all this real estate you have under the hood with the 7.3 Godzilla V8 being as compact as it is in a truck this large. Um, just a lot of real estate you can make work to your advantage and Pro Charger's done just that. We happen to have a nice range of pulley sizes on hand so it seemed like a good idea to start trying them out. So we swapped out the three and a half inch pulley to a three inch one, which takes the boost level from eight to 12 PSI. The results really weren't great. We should have seen a gain of 40 to 50 horsepower, but the blower was too far out of its efficiency range to properly provide the required airflow. So after that little discovery, we decided to bolt on a four inch pulley, which should have produced between four and five PSI. It made exactly 40 horsepower less than the 8 PSI setup, which is exactly what we were expecting. 
All this becomes instantly apparent when you see the three runs overlaid on the same graph, but more on that later. The really impressive part about all of this is how diesel-like that torque curve really is. It translates directly into the driving experience. Also, take note of the end of the horsepower curve on the 5-star tuned 8 PSI run. See how the horsepower starts to climb dramatically at about 5,500 RPMs but shuts down hard at 5,700? We'll get into the explanation for that in a few minutes. Josh from Five Star Tuning in his blue Super Duty that I know you guys have seen all over the channel and uh, guess what? It's the first supercharged 7.3 F250 anywhere I guess. First one so far. Yep. So it has the uh, brand new, I'm not even sure if you can buy this yet, uh, Pro Charger kit. It's got a P1SC running about 8 pounds of boost and uh, it's got Josh's custom tune on it. Uh, so what's it making for power right at this moment? Right at 590 horsepower, about 600 foot pounds of torque. So yeah, pretty it, impressive. Yeah, so 590 horsepower, 600 pound feet of torque from a bolt-on kit. And uh, you know, last time a lot of us have seen this, this truck had um, ARH headers on it. Had to take those off to develop this kit and the tune and everything. So this is basically just a stock. Intake setup, you also have the stock intake setup. Yeah, on you got your tuner kit, and then you have your uh, standard kit that comes with their custom tuning. So, and I believe they actually are available, I think, this week. Oh, cool! So, yeah, so if you want one, you can get it now. Uh, it's a great looking kit. Uh, I like the way they use large diameter piping on everything, uh, a lot of silicone. Uh, Post connections, uh, Breeze brand stainless, you know, T-bolt intake, uh, T-bolt clamps on all the intake pipes and everything. Uh, put together really nice looking kit. Then you opted to get the black powder coating. Black powder coating. It looks really nice under the hood. Yeah. I, that's kind of what I wanted. Nice slick design. And we're just cruising down 95 here. Probably actually need to slow down a little bit. But that's the thing. Uh, I found surprising about driving this is uh, it feels surprisingly like, surprisingly like a tuned diesel truck. Not just a st stock diesel truck, but one that's had some of the turbo lag and everything tuned out of it on the bottom end. That's what this thing feels like. Now. It's almost like a uh, like a 2000 early t six seven with a daily tow tune on it. <laughs> yeah, you know. And uh, you know, it's making it's making that torque way down low. Uh, RPM range and it's carrying it all, all the way out. I mean, it's. Yeah. I mean, you you've seen the dyno sheets on the thing. It's, it's nuts looking uh, the way this thing's making power. And the thing that really surprises me, if you look at the very end of that dyno run, right when it hits about what, say 54, 5500 RPMs, they it starts to really yeah. want to take off. And so right at 5700, there's a hard limiter. So. Yeah, and once we can get past the hard limiter there, I believe we'll actually see a lot more horsepower out of this kit. Yeah, I mean, the curve really gets steep right there at the end, but you only can do so much because of the state of the tuning software. Um, so this truck, particular truck is tuned with HP tuners, but uh, I know you guys tried it with SCT as well. Yeah. Get past these Yeah, it's pretty good acceleration. <laughs> That's pretty good, man. But yeah, uh, I'm expecting that. But you tried it with SCT too, and it has the same hard limiter in it. Uh, yep. So you know that's just something that the tuning companies are going to have to work out. But once they do, I mean, how comfortable do you feel taking this thing up? Say 65, 6500, 6400, somewhere along in there. Yeah, and from the looks of that curve, that's another. 
situation where we start throwing some boost at it, the direction doesn't make a whole lot of difference at that point. You're just cramming air exactly. in a 600 plus lift intake uh, you know, lobe on that cam. You can just cram it in there, even in that shorter amount of time, and it's just making insane power. What I'm really interested in is, is when we bolt the headers back on, we put the, the four inch exhaust back on it, yeah. and you know, get a little bit more air out. I believe we're gonna have. Yeah, I would say you're probably looking at what, like another 35 horsepower just on the exhaust side, because we saw 20 horsepower just from the headers through the stock muffler. Um, just um, in a in a yeah. yeah. So if you can see 20 horsepower and 20 torque, basically all through the meaty part of the RPM range there. Yep. Yeah, you're definitely going to see it, and uh, even more so on the top end once the tuning uh, software is ready. What I like about the kit is you're pretty much you're picking up at 3,500 RPMs, you're picking up 100 more foot pounds of torque. Yeah. So that's huge. Yeah. And this is where that vehicle loves to be 3,500 3, towing. Like, say you're towing through the mountains or you're towing, you know, 12,000 pounds, it loves it there. It'll eat there forever. Yeah. Do we need this exit? Oh, no, we got that. All right. So, um, we did play around with pulleys a little bit on it. Uh, started off uh, yesterday messing around thinking we well, can go from a three and a half inch pulley down to a three inch pulley, pick up four pounds of boost. You know, right now it's setting about eight pounds. Uh, we were thinking, you know, we'll run it up to 12, see what happens. <laughs> Tell everybody what happened. Yeah, that, that just didn't work out for us. Uh, it picked up just a little bit and then pretty much made the same exact horsepower, maybe 10 horsepower more. Uh, so we're just out of the efficiency of the blower, I believe, for this yeah. displacement motor. So basically, the kit that Pro Chargers put together, this baseline kit, is pretty much if a guy just wants to bolt on a blower and still be able to tow and um, have good mileage, daily driver range and everything, and um, not have to uh, really worry about it. You know, put, your, put this thing on and go. But if you wanted to run more boost, try to make more power, um, the P1SC supercharger is a bit small for, you know, a 7.3 liter engine. So, I was talking to you earlier today, that's something you got your sleeve with that. Yeah, we do. We do. We do. We drive with it. Go into the range here with the D1X. boost level it will probably uh, pick up power just because you'll have a lower air intake tip charge because you're not running that blower nearly as hard as you're having to run this one. I mean with the three inch pulley on a P1SC you're spinning the guts out of it. I mean right. that's that's all she's got to give. Exactly. And when you're saying 12 pounds of boost so uh, that's way way out of the efficiency range for something like that and it's probably just generating heat at that point, whereas the D1, uh, D1X blower with a three inch pulley, that's way too small. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's a 950 horsepower capable blower with a three inch pulley on it. That's what it's gonna wanna make. So that's probably 20 something pounds boost exactly. on this setup. So that, you know, you'd be able to run a dinner plate size pulley on a D1X, be where, right in uh, its efficiency range, have a nice cool and take him charge and uh, be good to go. The cool thing that's coming with this is going to be our four inch pulley, 375 pulley. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, you'll have three different pulleys that come with the kit from us. So, you know, you always go all the way down to a four pound pulley, all the way up to an eight pound pulley. So, yeah. And we did play around with that four inch pulley, which is running four or five pounds of boost. You didn't really give up that much power uh, with that versus the eight pound pulley. We gave up about 40 horse, but we still had really strong torque, 550, 560 foot pounds of torque um, on 93 octane. So yeah. <sighs> do a little bit more play with it. There's a, it definitely shows there's a lot there. So the next, uh, the next step, which way we want to go, left or right? Um, let's go. Go left. Yeah. Right. So the next set, uh. Next step, I guess, is uh, you know we got this thing off the dyno just you know an hour or so ago, yeah. and driving around a little bit. 
is uh, I guess you're going to hook a trailer to it and go uh, tow about 10,000 pounds. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Got to do some tow testing. Um, one of the big things we got to we got to do is get a um, a way to read air intake temps towing. Yeah. Yeah. So we can make sure everything's staying nice and safe. And I feel very comfortable about it, though. Yeah, and uh, so you're going to try to do a uh, like an 87 octane, uh, four or five pound tune that can be you know towable and everything. So the goal is to take the four pound pull, go 87 octane. Uh, see, hopefully we can get another say 60 to 70 horsepower out of it. So. diesel trucks for sure but just trucks in general come that truck you know the 6.4 was a powerhouse even in stock form and it made a whopping 244 horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque when it was stock and uh you only had five gears to work with on that whereas this you're making what what was that five yeah, miles? yeah. yeah so even stock the vehicle made 380 horsepower and 400 15 foot pounds of torque yeah and now you're making 580 590 horsepower and 600 foot pounds of torque yeah. just roll into it a little bit just this is just part of the Super Duties all the way through when, since they went to the aluminum body but um, yeah especially you know with this much power on tap for the gas motor it feels almost like an F-150 driving lines. yeah it's, it's fun man I've been telling everybody wait till you get a blower on one of these things it's going to be nasty and it is um, you know I'm sure if you want to turn a track control off and do it with 
Armstrong. Dead stop. It. And just blow them off. Yeah, yeah if you hate your tires, <laughs> this is the way to go. Exactly. Yeah. Get a good relationship with your tire guy. Yeah, you'll be on a first name basis with a guy down at the tire shop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I like is it, it didn't, it only improved the drivability of it. Yeah, you know, it, a lot it, of times you bolt on a blower and it, it's going to screw something up. You're going to have like a, something's going to be off. I got this one little low RPM surge I don't like or, yeah. you know, or something's going on, but, you know, it, it drives really nice. Yeah, I mean, uh, I haven't got to put a ton of mileage on it yet, but I, I haven't noticed anything that I would think would be out of the ordinary. It's just the truck you loved before with just way more power, you know. Let's just do it from the soft and see what happens. Leave trash control on and see what happens. Trash control. That's it. <laughs> the trash control shut down the fun on that run. Yeah, it went in the boost and said nope. Yep. Oh well. We turn it off. Alright, where's the Probably have to pedal it a little bit. Basically modulating between half and a third of a pedal. You, yeah. couldn't, you couldn't even get close to giving a full throttle. That's funny. Yeah. We can put it four high and do a, a boosted launch. No, what we need to do is take this damn thing to the track. Yeah. That's what we're doing. <laughs> it's, uh, it's right. You know, you even got uh, this super high dollar <laughs> boost gauge here. I knew he was going to pick on me about that. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you sell your good parts to the customers and you don't have anything left on the shelf to install. Hey man, you gotta do what you gotta do when you yeah. play around with pulleys and you're on the dyno, yeah. you're waiting on parts. Well, you know, even you got good stuff when your boost, uh, your boost gauge's brand is nitrous. It says nitrous right on hey, it. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> go to the here. It's in downshifts. Man, it shifts not bad. That's the thing, it's like, there's no drop off in power. With this 10 speed transmission, it is always right in the power range. It's crazy. That was probably what, 80? 90? Uh, it was at least 80. I was looking at the RPM gauge and moving ahead of it. But yeah, this is, this is not bad. Yeah. You want to go back and line your truck up with mine? Yeah. <laughs> I'd have to put. Uh, I'd have to put the tune, the tune that shall not be named in it to even have a chance. That'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, with the kill tune, that truck made like, what I say, 504 horsepower, like 950 pound feet. Of it doubles the power. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it makes Greta cry. So we can't do that too often. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's. Uh, it's a whole new world with this motor. Um, you know, oil changes are cheap. You want to run 87 octane even with this blower, contact you guys, get a tune. You can do that. Um, you don't have to have a $10,000 upcharge to buy it when you go into the Ford dealership. That's, that's a nice charge. Yeah. And then on top of that, no dealing with death. No, you know, there's so many other things. There's this engine, if you had to count up its parts, probably has less parts than the emission system. A new diesel. So. It's a fifty dollar oil change <laughs> yeah. versus one hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. You don't have to do the fuel filters every other oil change, and now you've got more power on tap than pretty much everything except a brand new diesel. And the the days of you know taking a brand new diesel, deleting it. Those Yeah. And it's just 
not struggling at all. I mean, it's just perfect. No. I mean, even the stock form, they have so much torque down low that it's, that it's even better now. Um, I mean, you've driven it, what, about 250 miles since you got it back the other day. Yep. Uh, what kind of mileage have you been seeing out of it? Um, I was doing a lot of It's not back fair. Roads. It's not fair. <laughs> you were doing exactly what we've been doing. <laughs> doing a lot of back roads. Been driving seeing four miles of the gallon average. But, uh, I mean, after all that, you still get the 11.2. So. Yeah. But, no, I mean, I, I reset it and drove it 30 miles with, from my house to work, and I was getting about 17, 18. Yeah. So. So it basically didn't give up anything mm -hmm. with molding on the blower, if you can keep your foot out of it. It's hard to do that. It's, yeah, that's, it's always a struggle. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take me a couple months to get mileage back. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of guys, if they drove this versus, uh, say, an EcoBoost F-150, they would just buy the Super Duty all day long. From a practicality side of things, for me, it's hard for me to go back to an F-150 and get rid of this. Yeah. It, it, it'd be hard for me. Now, I'm an EcoBoost man. I, I love them. And if you're racing the truck, obviously, I mean, you're not going to race an F-250, but, yeah. you know what I mean, from a tow, taking the family out on, in the camper and taking towing the boat to the lake on the weekends, this is a nice truck. Yeah, and then there's something to be said, too. Uh, you always like that, the toughness of, you know, the Dana 60 front axle, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. You don't get that anymore with the F-150. You get the, you know, what we want to do, head north. north. Right. All right. We just did a big circle. All right. Yeah, you don't, uh, you just get a, a, more of a work truck with the Super Duty. And, you know, with this motor, man, they, even though they're brand new, nobody's really reported any strange issues. We don't have pistons going on number seven or number eight, nothing like that people boost and yeah I mean, I mean you think about a if you bolt on a, a pro charger or what, any kind of charger on a 18 f-150 you know eight pounds of boost a 5.0 what kind of power you see 600 yeah. horsepower yeah so you're almost the same horsepower you're more torque and and it's doing that spin on a bigger heavier transmission with bigger axles bigger tires you know all that's soaking up power exactly so i'm very impressed with how it drives the same car yeah, it's not too bad but i like the flexibility of it um being able to want to change pulley you know um everything except the uh the three inch pulley we were able to run with the factory belt so pulley changes pretty simple you know, basic hand tools don't have to change the belt and uh you know but for you guys to get all the tunes and everything for it you'll have the ability to run 87 octane fuel I don't know why you wouldn't. 
after driving, you know, this truck was fun with the tune, the yeah. exhaust and everything. But at the end of the day, it still felt like it was you know, a super duty truck with the tune. You so, felt the weight. Yeah. You know? I mean, it, it wasn't as bad as factory. It wasn't as, you know. No. Um, but, but if you'd come from, you know, even a 2020 diesel truck, just a mm -hmm. factory stock, you know, six, seven power stroke with steel pistons and all that thing, you would have missed that diesel power. That low wind grunt. Yeah, you would have missed it. I don't think you, if you put somebody who had a diesel with this now, you ain't gonna miss it. No, I, don't, I think they'd have too much fun. Especially if they've been left on the side of the road once or twice because the DPF clogged up or the blue head gasket on the six liter or something. Or tried to find a mechanic to work on it. Yeah, tried to find a mechanic to work on it. Or needed a CP 4.2 pump that's on national back order for the next three months. You know. Any of those. Yeah, any of those reasons would, you know, that you'd warm up real quick to this. <laughs> but that's the thing that surprised me. You just, you don't, you don't miss it. You don't miss it, dude. Um, well, the, another big selling factor for me is we're right down the road. I don't hear anything. No. You, all you hear is tire noise because, not surprisingly, we need another set of tires on it now. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's quiet. Uh, you, you hear the, a little bit of intake noise from it. You hear more intake noise when it's uh, really pulling hard than anything else. And you can hear the, the factory exhaust. So anybody who's driven one of these seven three trucks uh, probably heard the factory exhaust. It's got a really nice sound to it, but that's what you hear on it. Yeah. 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 I can't get over the drivability of it though. Like you just just lean on it a little bit and it comes up with a little bit of boost and off you go. It's, it's not it's, it's pretty instant if you're into gas you know i mean it's yeah it's not a it's not a big lag or anything no i mean it's a pro charger centrifugal supercharger it is not going to have that instant hit of torque like a positive displacement blower and it's, it's just not because that's not how it's designed centrifugal blowers when you start to spin them real hard if they're still in their efficiency range that's when they really shine it which you can see on that graph it wants to take off at the higher RPM range, but uh, you know, if we had a, a positive displacement blower on this thing, you'd really get to know your tire guy then, because it's going to shred it. It'd be, it'd be uh, very interesting. It's all going to be dependent on your right foot. You've got more power now. If you use it, it's going to cost you fuel. Just is. That's that's how physics works. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly how it works. Yeah. There's nothing you can do there. No. It's not like you know Ford Performance SVT developing that 5.2 liter uh, Voodoo engine and basically defying the laws of physics with that flat plane crank. Like nope, it's. Thermodynamics are what they are. If you have your foot in it, it's going to use fuel. But uh, that being said, I don't think you'll be using nearly as much pedal to do the same amount of work. It'll still be using the same amount of fuel because it's going to take X number of horsepower to pull this load at this speed up this hill, no matter how you slice it. I think your problem is going to be having 10,000 pounds hooked to it and then starting to run up fancy gap 
and look down like, oh, I'm doing 85 miles an hour. Exactly. Yeah. It's slow down. And it's not even breaking a sweat and you're barely got the throttle cracked. I think we'll gain at least a gear going up Pensacola. again. Yeah. So what was it going up for? Fifth? Fifth gear, 48% throttle. Okay. Um, and that was a good bit of rock and a 5,000 pound dump trailer. So yeah. I'm wanting to say we were 14,800 pounds. So it was a it was a load. Um, so but, you predicted it probably go up fancy gap, six gear, probably less pedal. Less pedal. Yeah. That's my just by Spitting theirs out all the time, and the pistons have that steel ringland cast into them, like the Eco Boost do. I mean, Ford built this motor to work. Um, it's, it's definitely a workhorse. I mean, if they stick it in RV chassis, F650 dump trucks, everything else. They knew guys were going to put heavy loads on them and you know work. Well, so we got, we got a 73 flatbed that's towed 16,000 pounds all the time. Well, we made it back to the shop. Um, probably need to check the tire tread. Yeah, I guarantee we lost <laughs> lost a little bit on that deal. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Well, until next time, I guess uh, we'll just leave it at that. I think I think it's fun. Make me want one now. Yeah, just get by you one, man. You know, I have, might have I'll, to take, I'll say this one. Now I have to trade in the uh, the old white truck after this. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. i got to hold on to that one. Just buy another one. Yeah, just leave that one. Everybody too. needs at least two Super Duties in their exactly. life. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, uh, it's fun, though. I can't get over this. Yeah. Oh, you get to blow, <laughs> get to blow off valve a little awesome. bit. Yeah, it's fun. If you want to blow off valve fluttery noises, go buy you one of these kits. Hit up Josh and the guys at Five Star, get it tuned, get all the pulleys, get everything. Get everything. We got, like you said, four pound, six pound, eight pound pulleys. Tunes are going to be available real soon. Yeah. So, you guys with a 7.3 truck, you know where to go.